it is extremely clear that the gray market for luxury watches is thriving and it is developing into a powerful force in the watch industry. However, this force may soon get out of hand and cause the sector to spiral out of control. The gray market, in contrast to the pre-owned Rolex watch market, is compromised of essentially unlicensed sales of stock that for whatever reason did not sell in the primary market and is now being offered at a much reduced price. The market is growing massively and this growth is something Rolex cannot miss easily. After all, these gray market dealers are enjoying the profits that the brand should be getting from their consumers. That is why the brand started to take action to finally destabilize the gray market. And today, we're going to talk about the measures Rolex is currently taking to finally get what's rightfully theirs. Welcome to Lux Live. And when it comes to luxury and lifestyle, we've got you covered. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's start. One of the biggest news to disrupt the watch market recently is the fact that Rolex has officially joined the pre-owned market. With this, they are now starting their own branch of authorizing authorized dealers to buy and sell pre-owned watches. But before we dig into this update, we just want to highlight a couple of things. First is the fact that this will start in select boutiques in Switzerland, Austria, Germany, France, and the United Kingdom. It seems a bit weird, but they actually left the USA from the list, despite the country being one of their biggest markets. It is most likely that Rolex already selected the boutiques because infrastructure to be used is ready, and they wanted to roll it out first before eventually going to the United States to expand. Second, the authenticated watches will now get their own version of the coveted Rolex wax seal. It is usually the superlative chronometer certification tag that you will see whenever you get a brand new watch. However, this time, even the pre-owned watches will have it. The buyer will also receive a white card where the serial number and other information are placed, which is something you can only get from brand new Rolex watches. But what is really interesting is the fact that pre-owned watches that Rolex will authenticate and sell will also come with their own Rolex back two-year warranty. While it is not surprising that Rolex is doing this, this news is honestly really shaking the entire watch market. Why? The answer is obvious. Rolex is trying to get ahead of these gray market dealers. In a way, they are just trying to claim the profit that is rightfully theirs. These gray market dealers have been earning so much in the last few years, especially when the watch market really boomed. And finally, Rolex is just tired of watching everything unfold. They wanted incredible profits for themselves this time. And honestly, who can stop them? They have everything that they can use to do it. They have the capacity and the infrastructure to do it. All they have to do is buy and sell, and they can get a middleman, which will be backed up by the Rolex brand itself. Now, you might be thinking, what is the buying and selling process going to look like? We're going to assume that you guys have been going through other YouTube channels about Rolex, and you most likely know how the process goes. You may notice that a lot of them buy these watches at a decent discount, which is below the actual market value. It is usually from 10 to 25% less because that is the way they can make their margins on top of that. What will be interesting to see is what Rolex's buy price will be and what their buying process will look like in general. If you look at other industries, the bigger the brand, the deeper it cuts into your profits. So what we mean by that is they will likely be purchasing that at 30% less, all because they can. Rolex is not in a hurry to buy and resell these items. Unlike some of these smaller enterprises that rely on these profits for survival and are desperate to do so, this is so that they may lowball you for that amount and mark it up to whatever price they like. Another thing that Rolex will have that none of these gray market dealers will be able to buy or provide is the Rolex brand itself. If you're an average Joe who's looking to purchase one of these watches, you're probably familiar with what's going on. Let's say hypothetically, a gray market dealer is selling it to me for $28,000 and Rolex is selling it to me for $30,000. I'd most likely buy directly from Rolex because there is not much difference in price. And after all, Rolex is the brand I want to buy from. The watches are guaranteed by Rolex's two-year warranty. This is crucial 
since most of these underground markets will provide you with a warranty that will be honored by their in-house staff of watchmakers and servicing centers. However, Rolex now provides in-house Rolex watch centers, watch servicing centers, and watchmakers to ensure that any pre-owned Rolex they sell is in pristine condition. Rolex has the option of taking a completely opposite attitude, which would completely destabilize gray market values. But what if Rolex came in and tried to undersell everyone? When we say this, we're imagining a scenario in which Rolex stepped in, bought these watches at a deep discount, and resold them at a price 20% lower than the gray market. And since they can afford to tolerate those prices and occasional losses, they may soon be able to set the pricing on the secondary market. The only thing left to do is wait to see if prices on the gray market shift in response. If consumers are shifting their focus to purchasing pre-owned Rolexes at these costs, the gray market would have no choice but to follow suit and start offering their watches at the same prices. There is no way they could undercut Rolex's pricing without sacrificing quality or sacrificing Rolex's endorsement and authenticity. The number one thing they always say in the gray market is buy the seller. But a good reason why the sellers are being bought is trust. And when it comes to trust, Nothing is more trustworthy than the Rolex brand itself. With all these happening, it is very interesting to see how everything will play out. It's pretty apparent that Rolex is taking some pretty drastic measures to control or at least reduce what's going on in the secondary market. Or they're at least just tired of sitting back and seeing how these markets are making thousands of dollars of profits on the watches that they're selling. But in the end, Rolex and the gray market will go together as parts of the growing watch market and will continue to do so as long as it continues to provide watches that enthusiasts and even investors can buy. There will always be a place for the two. However, with this move from Rolex, when it comes to the stabilizing the gray market, it will be definitely interesting how this can change the watch market as a whole. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive updates in our latest videos. Also, feel free to leave us a comment if you want to watch more videos. Head on over to our channel to see more from Lux Live. See you!